possibly say, I could, no, you're right, man. We don't even have to prep for this one. Like, we kept saying, he's our friend. Yeah, it doesn't, it's D. He's going to flow, man. He does this for a living. And we were really trying to come up with things. Oh, we, we nixed a lot of things we were going to do. We did. We did really good with um the, the this or that. Yeah. Dungy ahead. That, 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 that was simple. Thank God. We had a lot of other games that we uh, squashed. Yeah, we had to squash those we games. We squashed a lot of games. He's not really a games bits guy. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're listening to this pod, we already know you like to have a good time because you're probably drinking on what? Pirate water, baby. Yeah, pirate water, baby. It's the drink of the fucking year. It's the drink of the century. I can't believe it even exists. It's a 10% malt beverage. It's tall boy cans. It's less than two bucks. It comes in four delicious flavors. Do you want to tell us what they are? I'll tell you right now. It's Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, Miami Vice, and Margarita. Yeah, that's four delicious flavors. They're so good. Like I said, under two bucks. Get you absolutely tuned up. Tuned up and fucked up. Personally, I'll say. Yeah, tune the fuck up. I feel like I'm a mechanic when I'm drinking this shit. So if you haven't tried it yet, go to drinkpiratewater.com to find pirate water in a location near you, or you can order it now on GoPuff. That's what I do all the time. I'll, I'll just go on GoPuff, bring it right to my door. Because we're lazy. I don't have to get outside, you no. know? And GoPuff's easy, you know? Yeah, it is. It's truly easy. It so is. you can just order it on GoPuff or go to drinkpiratewater.com to find it near you. And tag us at drinkpiratewater when you're drinking it. We love to see that you're drinking it, and we uh, love to repost your story. So get one on GoPuff or online and order Go to the fucking store. I'll repost it every goddamn time. Absolutely. Unless it looks like you're in some trouble, like in a trap house or something. Yeah, I never repost those ones. Those ones are a little crazy. Keep doing you. (laughs) Keep doing you. You probably ended up in Florida pregnant. That will make uh, more sense uh, in the rest of the episode. Let's get into it. I love you. (laughs) It's the sound of the police. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plan Brie Uncut. We're in Philly and the big game's on tonight. Are we rolling? Yeah. (laughs) No, it's okay. <laughs> Grace is drunk. No, sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. And you should I went be. out and I had dinner with the fam. <laughs> shout out Tina Fey. Shout out Hannah. Shout out Josh. Mm-hmm. Diego was out here working. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, I got dinner, but you. I drove to get my ass to my family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You had to get here quick. I just have four hours to get to my family. I was thinking about it the other day. After we recorded with Dave, which fire episode, by yeah, the way. Yeah, was popping the fuck Dude, off. Dude, that was my white elephant. Is that what people say? White rhino, white elephant, white white snowflake. I think white elephant. <laughs> what do people say when they really want to guess? White, my white rhino. What black horse? <laughs> I think it's white something. I, I hey, s- I don't want to discriminate. <laughs> Listen, I'm not. I'm not gonna go down that lane. I I'm not picking a side. Ah, ah, ah. Not today. Not ever. So, anyways, uh, when somebody really wants a guess, they call it something, and I don't know what it is. But that was my guest. Yeah, it was, and I, it was great. I walked away from that. I'm like, there's still so many things I want to ask that man. Yeah, dude, we could have done like 30 parts. Because even after he left, he was like, well, we only got to the first 10 years of our soul. I know. I know. People really loved it. People love that side of Dave. They realized that he's not a big macho mean pizza man. And guess what? You girls did that for you. We did that. DP, I'm talking to him, not you girls. <laughs> well, boys listening. We did that for you, DP. Did DP. Dude, I saw a comment. Sorry, I just have to say this. Someone Get said, that hand out of my said, face. You know what they said? What? This is what the Joe Rogan podcast should have been like. I saw that and I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. Dude, I nearly lost it too. Lost my damn mind. My pants was flew off. Thank God I had a belt on. Oh my God. Not in a weird way. I was no. just blown away. Oh, Big dude. gust of wind. <laughs> Seriously, truly and honestly, Joe Rogan didn't do the DP episode like your girls. He talked about UFC, Dave, MMA. Dave didn't really know too much outside of Molly May. I'm gonna say it right I now, Molly Peter Patter. Nah. Oh, Molly May had a good fight this Molly weekend, meatball. though. Molly Meatball, <laughs> right? Meatball Molly. Molly Meatball. <laughs> the Meatball Malls. Are we fat check? Is it Molly Meatball, meatball? Molly's? Molly Meatball. Molly's, Molly's Meatball. Molly's Molly's meatball. The meatball. And patio Waddy. The Paddy Wagon. Patty, patty Wagon. Patty Wagon the, and Molly Meatball. You know you can't say Patty Wagon anymore, but I can. Wait, why? It's an Irish thing. It's an Irish. My mother's gone. <laughs> I don't know what's going. Yeah. Oh, put it on. No, it's gonna be a long call. Oh, it's gonna I be a long call. She's watching the cats. She's watching the cats. Mom, I'll call you back. Even though you don't know what a podcast is, doesn't even know how to listen to this. Hey, but, but she's really proud. Yeah, thank she's you. Really I'll call you back, man. So, Molly, mother, meatball. Have you ever talked about the fact that your mother comments on everything on TikTok ever? Everything. Every ever. single fucking thing, dude. If anything has to do with your name, Brianna, mm-hmm. even if it's Brianna fucking baloney, mm-hmm. and, it, and it's not, <laughs> and it's not Brianna Lebegli, she's like, oh well, I got a daughter, Brianna. Dude, she <laughs> lives for TikTok comments. She's also, she comments on everything Grace does. She sends everything Grace does. Anything Plan Brie she'll comment on. Anything to do with Zach now, commenting on it. <laughs> Every single thing. So if you see, and it's M- hilarious. MJ. It's Peggy MJ. Peggy MJ. Because there MJ any numbers? is my cat. Um, no. She's still kicking, right? Yeah, she doesn't even like the cat. 
No, she never did. She never did. And she's she naming her did. Instagram handle after it. Like, I would understand if it was uh, Peggy, Peggy Jesse. Probably was taken. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, no, Pe- Peggy Jesse's <laughs> fucking on rapid fire on TikTok. Yeah, if you ever look under... <laughs> Look under a video. Peggy MJ will be commenting. You should honestly, she would love if you guys interact with her. Oh my God, please do. Dude, she gets into fights with people on TikTok that say mean things about us. Good. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Dude, that's the, that's the salty in her. I know. Yeah. You know? She can't stand anyone talking trash on us. Uh, I mean, her daughter? You kidding me? Not you her, man. You kidding me? Come on. Uh, my, uh, uh, I will insert it right here. But my mother, my mother sent me this last night. Mm-hmm last call at her bar she's working the the late shift yes. <laughs> and she toss on fred again and then another fred again Come on. and it's last call she's the only one there there's like five other people there but she's the one working mm-hmm. and she she pans to the five people at the bar fred again blasting in this irish bar and nobody wants to hear it no that's- and usually playing like <laughs> old 50s music and she turns around and she's like ah <laughs> Dude, she's she fucking loves, awesome. She loves Fred again. You showed her Fred again and she can't stop. You know who else does? ZB. Zach Lane Bryant. Dude, <laughs> um, we've got to talk about that because it was fucking crazy. So we went to Fred again at Forest Hills. Yes. Which was awesome. That was after the Dave, ep- that was before the Dave episode. We didn't really talk about it, but we, <sighs> we went to Forest Hills and it was fucking sick. We couldn't tell you guys during the DP episode. Yeah. How hurt we were. We were so hurt. We got like three and a half Not even, hours bro. total together. Not even, bro. Yeah, we had a crazy Combined? night that night. Yeah. We had a crazy night. A lot uh-huh. of people were uh, out of their fucking mind that night. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. People were out of their fucking mind that night. <laughs> and it wasn't me and it wasn't you. Uh, there was a lot of people <laughs> out of their fucking mind that night. Uh-huh. Yeah. Shrooms will do that to you. Shrooms usually just make me pretty nice. Mm. Shrooms are uh, crazy for a lot of people. You used to ball your eyes out on shrooms. I used to ball my eyes out, but and I was never switched. mean. Different for everybody. Different for everybody. It was an insane fucking night. It was crazy. It was and crazy. And then we uh, stayed up all night. And our plan was to go to the concert and go to bed. Never, ever going to happen, ever. <laughs> no, but that because Forest Hills is a venue that is, it sounds so crazy, but it's in a neighborhood in Queens. If you're not from New York, it makes no sense. But it's literally like in the middle of a neighborhood and they have um, a curfew. So mm. the concerts have to start at a certain time and end at a certain time. So it ended. We were done by like 10 yeah like the concert was done by 10 and then we went home speaking of the venue and i I hate using the name and everything but we always say that forest hills is our favorite venue ever of all time yeah and but we haven't been to many venues like not that many well you kind of have whatever but uh that guy zach bryan he he said he's played just about everywhere and he said that's his favorite venue ever yeah and i said what what about red rocks and he said no better yeah Forest Hills is just uh, something about it. Yeah. It's like perfect. And we've always said we loved it. It's awesome. But uh, it was great. And then we stayed up all night and then we had to do fucking DP interview. Yeah. And that was something I really wanted to do. It's not that it wasn't like yeah, a chore. Yeah. But we had to do it on no sleep. We had to do it on no sleep. Mm-hmm. And uh, with the two of us, I got there. I got there like the the interview was supposed to start at 12. And then I got there at like 10 o'clock. I got there with a fucking bacon, egg, and cheese. Couldn't even eat it. Too hungover. Mm-hmm. Too bad. And then you you got there like an hour later, and the two of us like for an hour, maybe like thirty minutes, just looked we at each like, other. <laughs> so what are we gonna ask him? You know, it's probably better if we just let it flow. That's how we <laughs> yeah. work. We're a little better when it flows. Dude, we kept trying to like come up with things, and we would just look at each other and say, "So what else? <laughs> so what else could we possibly say?" Uh, no, you're right, man. We don't even have to prep for this one. Like we kept saying, he's our friend. Yeah, it doesn't. It's D. He's gonna flow, man. He does this for a living, and we were really trying to come up with things. Oh, we we nixed a lot of things we were gonna do. We did. We did really good with um the the this or that. Yeah, Gun to your head. That, that, that was simple. Thank God. We had a lot of other games that we uh, squashed. Yeah, we had to squash those. We games. squashed a lot of games. He's not really a games bits guy. Uh, we're gonna do bits on him too. That we're was... gonna wear suits. <sighs> we, we had a lot of things. We had a lot of things. But then we were like, I don't know, man. It's D. And and thank God we did it the way we did because he was in a good mood. Mm, oh, he's great. He seemed mood. to enjoy he's it. Been in a great mood ever since he got the dollar back for the company <laughs> he got really mad on bffs today really yeah like old school d i was proud of him but he got mad he um i thought he was gonna break out another champagne bottle about uh you have to tune in and listen oh good good yeah. good 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 yeah, good, yeah. Good, 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 good. thanks d i'm doing I'm, 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 i do that for you <laughs> all right guys quick commercial break so when you go into an event and you're excited you shouldn't have to worry about getting tickets you shouldn't have to say where am i gonna get them how much are they gonna be never <laughs> 
though. Don't. Don't. You know what's the worst? What? Being like, oh, I want to go to this, but I'm so stressed out about where I'm going to get my ticket. And also, like, if if it, if it's down to the wire mm-hmm. or if they're too expensive. You know what our, people that listen to our podcast are? What? Spontaneous. And I love that. And they like to do things at the last second. You gotta. That's when the best times happen. Always. So when, you, when you're like, oh, I want to go to a show. I want to go to an event. Use fucking game time. It's game time, baby. Yeah. And you want to know why it's so, it's so easy? Because right when, right when the tickets are about, like you're going into the event, you mm-hmm. can get them right there and it's lowest price guaranteed. Dude, the best time is when it's spontaneous. Like you said. I know. You just hop on the app, grab those tickets. And you know what? You can do that till? What? One hour after the concert. How sick is that? So you could be at the bar like, like, should we go? Should we not? Show, should we go? Should we go? Sugar, 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 sugar nights. You got an hour. And you can do it on game time <laughs> and lowest price guaranteed and seamless. You can just transfer them to your phone. There's no printer. You can just send it to your person. It's not going to be a stressful situation. It's actually going to be, what's the opposite of stressful? Unstressful. Chill. Free balling. Yeah, free balling. Free balling. It's going to be American. I love this. It's so American, man. So yeah, American. It's so American. So if you if you want to go to football, basketball, baseball, big games on big shows coming on, Fred Again's coming up. What if I want to see a concert? Fred Again? SZA? Harry Styles? Could I do that with game time? Yeah. Easy, Grace. <sighs> Easy. Wow. So if you guys want to do that, if you're spontaneous, you want to have some fun, you don't want to stress out, you want to be chill, free ball, and American, That's then me. you can uh, take to the guesswork of buying tickets with game time. You can download the game time app, create an account, use code PLANBRY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, you can create an account and redeem code PLANBRY for $20 off your purchase. Download game time today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price what? $20 off? Yeah. Lowest price what? Game time. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. With Game time. Guaranteed. <laughs> I Double love G's. you. Triple G's if you want to put Grace into that. Let's get back to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that was one question I wanted to ask D mm-hmm. was, listen, D, you hate bits, but you used to do bits all the time. Dude, he hates bits. He was the bit guy. He was the bit master. But he just acts like he wasn't doing bits. That's just him. And honestly, I'm like, maybe. Honestly. Yeah. Because I honestly, even asking him, dude, you hated bits. Why did you do them? He'd say, that wasn't a bit. That was just me. Yeah. But there's this fucking bit that he did. He's dressed up in a suit. He's at a press conference for the fucking Super Bowl of the Pats. He's asking Robert Kraft, the owner of the Pats. He's like, he goes, I got a question. You ever been in Nantucket? Do you remember me? We used to get drinks. And he was like, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't Robert Kraft. It was Bill uh, Bill Cosby. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Bill Belichick. You guys want our sports takes? (laughs) No, but he goes, you need need anyone to murder anyone for you? I mean it. (laughs) <laughs> and I do it. I'll, I'll fucking, I'll kill fucking anyone. I'll lay my life down on the line at the press conference with like real people. Dude, try and tell me that's not a bit. Dude, it's not. You're not going to kill anyone. I think he, he, well, he can't even, he's a pacifist. He says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the definition of that? Doesn't like to hit. No violence. Pacifist? Yeah. I thought that means you hate things. No. Pessimist. Oh, pessimist. Yeah, pessimist. You learn a new thing every damn day. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, but no, he would never beat anyone up, but I guess he would murder for uh, Belichick. As would I. Yeah. Anything, anything we would do for a good celebration in a beer. One time I saw Belichick at Whole Foods in Hingham, Which, Massachusetts. Did you make out with him just like his daughter does? I left my phone in the car the one time I ever did in my whole life and I never did that again. No. God forbid I leave my phone in the car and I don't oh, get a picture with Belichick. Meant, I thought you meant and I never saw him again in Whole Foods. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that either. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, well, yeah, he's a guy. I yeah. ended up seeing him at the strip club. <laughs> um, But the fucking, the Dave episode was good. And then what, the next day we were like, we want to go to Fred again and again, but it was pouring mm. and we, we already did the Forest Hill shows. We probably would have went, but it was, I don't know. We had a long day. We started drinking at like fucking three. We well, watched- the plan was the, the plan Brie gals. We're going to go watch the Penn state first UMass game. Yes. Because half the plan Brie team went to UMass Amherst grace and half the plan Brie team went to Penn state mass. <laughs> yes. And boy, did we get slaughtered. Oh, slaughtered. The UMass man. team. The one, just me. <laughs> I was, I, I wore, I wore my best UMass garments. <laughs> they should not be D one. I how Dude, are they? Lost, they? Like, Sixty four. <laughs> it was nothing. It was crazy. It was really crazy. And it Grace was repping so... UMass so hard, like, like she even knows or cares about it. She'd never seen a game before. Dude, that's the thing, though. If you went to UMass or you go to UMass. You go to the tailgate and then you leave. No one has ever been inside the game unless you play or you're on the band. Yeah. Or you're like a fucking uh, a guy from the 80s who just misses going to college. Yeah. <laughs> I can uh, think of one right now. <laughs> yeah. It was 64 to nothing. Yeah. And you had your shirt on that you made and it said, uh, 
uh, UMass tailgates hit different. Mm, ZooMass, honey. ZooMass. ZooMass tailgates, tailgates, hit, tailgates different. hit different. I realized. Clip that and put that on the UMass. ZooMass. <laughs> put that on the ZooMass account. Ah. Uh-huh. They wouldn't let me run that. Stinky. Mm-hmm. You're too busy getting wasted. <laughs> Look at wasted. me now, bitch. <laughs> You're too busy getting wasted. I know. Um, no, no, you're too really, busy dropping out. You I didn't know, really I didn't go really, there. I didn't really go there. I just kind of tickled like, it. A quick I tickled the idea. Yeah. A little fancy idea. <laughs> but um, no, I realized that night that I had this uh, little little spark in me to make t-shirts. A lot of occasions that we had, I, I made Funny t-shirts, t-shirts for. Yeah. Um from customizedgirl.com. Mm-hmm. That's not an ad. They just have good coupons. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get my money for I know. But Brianna's 21st birthday, I made this. Um, <laughs> What else? It's all pictures of you hungover. Yeah, for um an ugly sweater party, it was all of us, our faces. We've talked about that before. We've talked about that. Yeah. It's this kid said, you're all ugly. She in hell. Mm-hmm. So that I made that, that for an ugly night. sweater party. Um, and then I made that shitty ass t-shirt for... <laughs> Zoom ass. That was pretty sick. And you say it held up. Zoom ass tailgates hit different. It that's was... so stupid. Yeah, that's pretty bad. They hit different. But that was a lingo at the time. Everyone thought it was a lot. Dude, we used to what what do we used to say in high school? We out here. Yo, we out here. We out here. And we used to see like it was if you could the closest you could stick your pointer finger and pinky together was the cooler you were the closer it got we out here the Yo, cooler we you out were here. but i didn't ever did that because i didn't like the girl who started it oh mm-hmm. she didn't even start it who did i can't say <laughs> why give him credit okay we'll bleep it <laughs> oh yeah he's pretty legendary <laughs> he kicked me out for doing the worm at his house you're on cocaine <laughs> Fair. And, I, and I was throwing up. No, they kicked us. You were doing the worm, and it was my first time in my life ever trying cocaine. And I immediately. Wait, that was your first time? Ever, yeah. Oh. And threw up everywhere. I mean, that's why I've always had a vendetta because it's just everything makes me throw up. Yeah. Dude, my body's such a temple. I'm like, dude, I just can't. Um, fucking, I threw up everywhere. Grace was doing the worm, and then we got kicked out. And we had to run home. Why did we run? Why were we scared? I don't we were know. In college. We were cocaine. <laughs> college though so. I wasn't we were like I running. was going to community college and I was college, just stoked though. that you guys were home yeah so let's do plow <laughs> for the first time oh, dude in and a weird in someone's parents fucking house and dude it was like what the fuck and it was from a person that was it was probably meth <sighs> it was so sc- don't do that don't, don't do, do that. that ever don't ever do that or do it and have your fun and no then learn don't from ever it. do that come on learn from it don't do it ever don't learn from it you'll never know you can't do it dude, just drink a bunch of fucking fucking vodka nah. drink a bunch dude drink one pyre water, water. It's, it's you're basically fucking on cocaine come on do pyre water i don't know if i'm allowed to say that but fucking jesus pyre water come on do just it drink one <laughs> dare it's you same thing <laughs> i looked at all three cameras are you gonna shock on po- uh pyre water yeah of course if we if we had the them. live show yeah Honestly. We got the live show tomorrow. I know. Let's go. We've got a special guest. And um, I actually like to use our platform right now to say that uh, Barstool Talents is screwing our <laughs> guests over. <laughs> yeah. At first, Fabula was very upset with his blue uh, broken down uh, Toyota camera. Yeah. Can't remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, now on, it's a good thing. Our second guest is flying halfway across the world. <laughs> in coach yeah well it's just you know it's something that we agreed on before the sh- before the shows we're like we want to make sure our guests are taken care of and they'll be fine first class right because you know they're not getting any money they're not getting paid our guests aren't getting paid they're just getting their travel paid for and uh yeah no you they get to hang out with these two legends <laughs> um so yeah they're getting actually it, they're, it's they're getting they're fucked. getting screwed they're getting fucked screwed. yes and then they're <laughs> flying middle coach across the world and um put the wrong name on the reservation so our guest is jack martin because no, this, no, 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 this no. is after thursday morning yeah our show's tomorrow night oh usually it's on thursdays though <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, i was trying to stay in bigger ways <laughs> um it's jack martin and they put his reservation down for jake martin jake martin at the hotel yeah. so he's trying to get in he's like jack martin they're like buddy <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't you yeah but just look under the last name i know but that's hilarious i know the poor bastard uh, you know his name's not even jack what <laughs> John, oh, I hate when bitches do that. I hate, I hate when bitches, bitches do, that. do that. I really do, dude. I hate when oh bitches do God. that so bad. That's like me, Brianna, going as fucking Mary. My uncle Jacka. My uncle Jacka is a different name. I can't think of what it is. 
Okay. Jagger. That means it was it just Jack? Shout out Jagger. William? I haven't him in a while. All right. So, so let's move on. Sorry, Jagger. Yeah. She's busy. She's uh in Philly. She's well, got a big game to watch tonight. Last time he texted me, he wanted me to hook him up with a landscaper for Dave's new fucking mansion in Nantucket. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny that what families, the family <laughs> dynamic thing is insane. Like the amount of people that have reached out to me, they're like kind of close, like not even not close, but there's so many family members that reach out and like think I'm going to bring them into the office to shake Dave's hand or Bring them personally to a private ZB show. Mm. You haven't talked to me since Christmas of 04. It's crazy. I know it is crazy, but I will say, I think uh, the whole ZB thing has brought me and my 16-year-old sister back together. I'm, I'm, a, I'm happy about and that. I'm happy for that. Yeah. And I actually got a text from her tonight, and I was like, guys, what do you think it is? It's either her asking for ZB tickets, mm -hmm. or she wants to know like what Halloween costume to be or something. Yeah, something And slutty. it was the thing I sent you. Yeah. And I, it, I was so happy for it. She ended up texting me and saying, you and Brianna are dead ass, real life, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. And dude, it doesn't get better than that. She has microphones. That's great. That's you great. Know what's That's crazy, good stuff. Man. You know what's crazy? What? Ain't even close. Ain't even close? Ain't even close. Which, like, are they better? Or? Ain't even close. Because I... I think we could get there. Ain't even close. I think we could totally Dude, get there. If we didn't get, we said this on one of the podcasts. Mark Wahlberg should have a boy. He must be a bad guy. Yeah, he's got to be a bad guy. Oh, he remember he punched an Asian whole, guy? Yeah, I know. He's trying to get over that. Okay. Well, you know, it's skeletons in everyone's closet. <laughs> I don't want to be a sympathizer <laughs> for that. <laughs> what? You, yeah. You I just, just, stand you just up defended him. him. Yeah. We could keep have it you, in, but I'm going to verbally say cut that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Mark Wahlberg doesn't have a boy because he probably doesn't have any boys, man. Yeah. Uh, but Ben Affleck and Matt Damon, man, I don't know. It just seems wrong for us to even compare ourselves to such legends. Oh, no, they're legends. Dude, they're the, they are my That's presidents, what I for, my heroes. Though. We were also talking about this. This is probably fucked up and this is probably why people say we're misogynists. But uh -oh. um, there's a <laughs> bunch of videos of like Ben Affleck like and J-Lo yelling at each other and mm -hmm. him like being a dick and like slamming doors and shit. And we were like, he could do, he could do way worse. Dude, honestly, seriously, you though, could scream in my fucking face. I say, "Daddy, what's good?" Oh my god, are you kidding me? Would you rather him or Matt Damon? Matt Damon. I've <sighs> always had a thing for Matt D. I've always had a thing for Ben. I know. So that's so perfect, dude. I know. That's so dude, perfect. Ben Affleck fucking choked me out in a fit of rage. <laughs> Not even anything sexual, and I'd say, "Thank you, Daddy." <laughs> <laughs> dude, he. Well, yeah, he's uh, probably one of the best looking people I've ever seen in my life. When we went to uh, that movie premiere. Oh my god. It's just insane. It's uh, some people just don't shouldn't be able to be like that. Want to hear a hilarious, hilarious thing? No, and I'm not going to say who said it because uh, maybe maybe it's bad, but it, pretty hilarious. OK, so, you know, um, Gilbert, what is that movie? Gilbert's. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yes. Martin Gilbert had the grape. <laughs> Gilbert's grape movie. <laughs> I, can, I always want to say Gilbert's in the grapes, but it's just totally Something not. about grapes and Gilby. Something about Gilbert grapes. And it's Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio, Johnny Depp. And um, in the movie. Leonardo DiCaprio's special needs. Mm -hmm. So I was like at this fucking, I was at this place and we were talking about how much like someone loved Leonardo DiCaprio. And this guy comes over and he goes, yeah, me, nah, I'm more of a Leo in a Gilbert Grape movie. I really like him in that. And everyone was like, what? Mm -hmm. They weren't really understanding it. And then <laughs> was everyone, he doing a joke? Yeah. And then, oh. I, and then everyone was like, oh, what? What is that? <laughs> me no, his delivery was bad <laughs> dude it, everyone was like what are you what are you trying to say who man? the hell was saying this dude it was crazy and everyone just kind of walked away like okay i guess i'll never know you want you wanted to fuck him you are saying you are him what is what did you mean I by am that more of a gilbert Grape kind of guy <laughs> and then he, he just walked away mm. i think he felt it man that's tough to bomb that bad and have to walk away yeah in a small setting of people that don't understand your joke you got to put your tail between your legs and walk away do you know how many Times it's happened. Do you to me. know how many times that has ruined me? <laughs> that <laughs> yeah. is brutal. Yeah, it's the worst feeling in the world. I hate that more than anything in the world. It happens to a lot to us because we, yeah, I know. We just assume everyone's going to get it. And what we're, we're just, saying, you were just all funny people don't get it. No, and that's what I was about to say. We just assume majority like gets or thinks the way that we do, and we are the outsiders. Yeah, I yeah. know. We're, the, we're, we're not the funny ones. We're the idiots. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm, we're in the minority. No, because I would never say that. No, but with but that, with jokes. Sometimes, because 
Uh, I guess we're just stupid. Niche. Niche, I guess, I suppose. I think we're stu- stupid funny. Yeah. Like, we go dumb. I enjoy the dumb dumb yeah. dumb 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 yeah. dumb yeah. <laughs> You know I, what I mean? Yeah, I do too. I mean, all night tonight, the funniest part of my night today... What was it? ...was calling Peyton Tina Fey. Yeah. Anytime anyone walked... We were eating outside. Any Anytime anyone walked by... <laughs> I would just say, dude, I'm eating dinner with Tina Fey. She looks nothing like her. No, not even nothing. a bit. And people stop, look, stare, and walk away. I thought you were talking about uh, fucking, what's her, why, uh, fucking, what's her, fu- I, I gotta get this. Amy Poehler? No, fucking. Sad kick. Dude, um, she talks like, she's gotta get a crazy voice. <laughs> Wanda oh, Sykes. Oh. Wanda Sykes. And I was like. She's a lot different. Dude, she's black. So when you yeah. kept saying to Peyton is Tina Fey, I'm like. Tina face black in my head and I'm like this does not literally make any sense oh uh, yeah see that's when I'm in my own world if that, I'm saying that <laughs> and then I was like dude I don't know if that's if that hits man I don't know if that's good in my head but I'm like dude I don't know you wasted let her have it and then I realized yeah that's uh, Wanda Wanda Sykes is a totally different woman yeah what is that they're not even they, they don't yeah, even remotely is... even together on anything no no no, no. no. yeah totally two different ladies yeah and yeah. And, and that's what you thought yeah and it's crazy so you, so you can only imagine how many times we say things and people just think something else i get that you know? man. i mean half the time we're talking to each other we think we're on the same page i think we're reading different books i know yeah all right two of us yeah we're always on the same page. no 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 yeah no that's what i'm saying we're that's what i'm saying we page. always think we're on the same page and we always think we're talking about the same thing usually we're you talking with two yes dude it's funny if you look back at things we'll be telling stories we'll, no it's hilarious it's news to me we'll, exactly <laughs> what <laughs> we'll be saying we'll be talking about stories and talking about memories and people and we'll think we're talking about the same person we'll revisit it two days later and realize we were talking about totally different things i've never realized that it's insane it's funny you gotta look out for it i don't want to i want to always think in my deep dark hat that we're always on the same page i hope you are okay no i'll never be okay until we're on the same page i mean dude it always ends in the same story a hilarious one yeah i <laughs> think it God. doesn't matter man <laughs> that's all that matters <laughs> seriously I got here today. Mm-hmm. I got here to Philadelphia. You know we're in Philly? We're in Philly. Yeah. I got here in Philly, opened up my suitcase, said, it's time to try my outfit song for the big old live show. Which was crazy because she never, she usually does it five minutes before. Thank God I didn't. Yeah. Wow. What's something in you was just like, I got to try them on. I put on this dress and I wish I could add a picture because it's that insane. Put on the dress, pussy out. Oh, it was a short. It's mini. a pussy live show. It was a mini dress. Oh my god, dude! It was like this, like elaborate bullshit pussy. Just what kind skewing. of elaborate? What what elaborate was it? It was like like abstracty. Why didn't you throw jeans on under it? Because I ain't got no jeans. You wear jeans and a dress top. I, I, jeans don't fit no. And you more. don't wear drawers like your I daddy. I don't wear drawers. I don't wear. You don't wear drawers either. I know, but you don't wear drawers like your daddy. So your pussy really wasn't. You don't wear drawers. You just never heard your voicemail. Oh. <laughs> so you could have Wanda. <laughs> so you couldn't. You couldn't wear the uh, pussy dress. Well, do you have anything else? I had one more, but I don't like my gut in it. Uh. So I went to the Urban Outfitters. Do you get something? I think I might have found something, but God forbid I didn't. Uh, side side stop. I love that. Did you try them on in Urban? No. <sighs> Why? So we might have another problem tomorrow. But I did try on the shoes that I bought to go with the dress that I, I got heard at Urban Outfitters. You were talking about them, and they were cutting off my circulation. I bought these knee high boots, not knee high, before the knee, calf boots. Yeah, like mid calf. Yeah, I got those kind of boots, and they were really cutting off my knee. I mean, my my calves because I got calves of steel. Yeah, yeah, they're impressive. They're. I was born with these. I wish we could. We can we insert a picture, or do you want to keep it to yourself? Boom. Yeah. These calves are something I'm not proud of, and I, I've never worked towards them. I think it's just from holding up my my excessive body weight for oh, all these years, okay. which is fine, whatever. But these calves are calves of fucking iron steel, They're right? Impressive. And unfortunately for me, I can't wear any beautiful booties because of these calves of fucking steel. What, ca- you can't wear calf booties, or you can't wear any booties. You think I have to get the extendo size? Like you can't wear boots that go up. Uh uh-uh. uh. <sighs> you don't know nothing about that. Uh uh-uh. uh. And I come down and I, and I'm telling people about that and and people are telling me that they understand where I'm coming from because they got calves of steel as well. And for all my big calf ass oh, bitches. Oh, you came down from where? Did you say that? Okay, At Macy's? I, when I was coming down from Molly. Oh. Oh, uh, but bitches got calves of steel, right? And all you bitches got calves of steel. Good for you. Yeah, it's epic. You just need a wider calf, dude, for a boot. Yeah, and they make them now. 
They do. Yeah, you just got to look them up. It's a special thing. It's just not as many. I think there's a, you could, what do you type in? Like a uh, uh, wide, wide calf, wide, wide calf booty. Because they make wide narrow, calf boots. they make narrows wide, and wide, 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 so wide load, watch out. You can't out. wear them? No. Uh, no, but I bought them. Okay. But I might be able to wear them. Just say they're slouchy. Oh, just put them down. Yeah. Because they're cutting off my circulation. But we'll hey, see. Hey, you can put them up for pictures. Put them down. Who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, guys, quick commercial break. Plan Bree Uncut is sponsored by BetterHelp. So do you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? Like, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you can't do it. Like, you're always kind of trying to map out a plan and you can't really seem to stick to it. Or you think you know what's good for you, but then you end up doing the wrong thing. All the time. All the time. I feel like everyone struggles with that. But I felt like that until I met BetterHelp. Better help. Yeah. So therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work on yourself instead of against yourself. Um, if you've benefited from therapy, then you definitely know what we're talking about. Better help is amazing. It helps you take care of your brain, which I think everyone should be doing, especially, dude, it's like almost seasonal depression time. It's getting mm-hmm. cold out. We always really t- tend to be hard on ourselves when we're stuck inside. The sun goes away. You really start harping on everything. Mm-hmm. This is like the perfect time to take care of your mind and to make sure you get ahead of it before it gets into scary time. Like we always say the winter is coming. Getting ahead of it is very important. Very important. Very important. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Uh, it's entirely online designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge, which is incredible. So you can make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. You can visit BetterHelp.com slash Plan Brie today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Plan Brie. Make sure to take care of your brain. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. And like we said, uh, get ahead of it. It's really important that they you could do it at any time of the day. Yeah. And, and it's you don't have all to physically online. go there. Yeah, it's all online. It's amazing. Huge. So make sure to check it out and take care of yourself. Let's get back to the episode. And you don't have anything to wear. I don't get nothing to wear either. I'm actually not worried about it. I might just wear this, to be honest. Really? I don't fucking care. Wow, you should. Yeah, I don't. It's a big deal for yeah, us. It, so you gotta dress in a formal outfit? No, no, no. I just kinda wear what be myself. Wear, exactly. wear what you want. Yeah, so I want to wear what I want. Perfect. Yeah. Feeling good about it. Ideal. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so what are you going to do if you got nothing to wear? I'm going to go and bare ass naked and just hope everyone accepts me for who I am. Oh, I love that. I yeah. hope our guest is going to come out naked or something. I don't. Oh. That would be weird. Now, you have he's a married with a fiance. Oh my God. He's in a celebrity couple. Yeah. So there's, there's some things that our guest wants to not talk about, which we really wish we could. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can't. <laughs> I'm going to respect his wishes. Oh hey, yeah. You know, respectfully. Mm. <laughs> respectfully. Yeah, That's but- one thing you wouldn't want to talk about ever. On stage? Anything. I would talk about anything. Seriously, right? Yeah. Except for the fucking last show we had. We got a Q&A question about the craziest place you ever had sex. And we went around the room and I was like, all right, Brianna, your turn. And he said, nope. But you were too drunk to understand that I was asking you to please tell what yours was. Yeah, I didn't want to because my boyfriend was there. Oh. And that's like. See, that's. But that's something. Yeah, I don't like to talk about sex in front of people and my boss and stuff. It's weird. Yeah, no, I didn't feel great about telling my boss that I did coke before work, but you kind of set me up for that one. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to talk about that. I also don't have a crazy sex story. I feel like you got a couple. Don't. I've really had crazy sex. Like the abandoned house, maybe? Is that crazy, though? You said it on here. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't want to say that in front of my poor boyfriend. If he got up on stage and talked about fucking other ladies in crazy places, it was mutual respect. Then. It was just a, it was a fan question. I'm sure I brought it up. Yeah. What would you not want to talk about? Uh, just about everything I did talk about, <laughs> probably. <laughs> what did you even say? That <laughs> I was don't know. Crazy. I told him in front of my boss that I did coke before work. That was even a know you said that on you stage. You set me up for it. What was it? I don't know how it happened, but you were like, yeah, you used to do blow before work. And I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> the boss is here, Brianna. Come on now. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. You bitch. <laughs> Wait, what, were we, what were we talking about? I don't know how it happened, but it happened. That's crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, because the the girl in the front, she was she was yapping. She was oh, the so loud, girl. and I said, "Honey, baby, you made me you make me want to do coke again." And you go, "I remember when you used to do coke a little too much, maybe before work." And I was like, "Oh God, the uh, boss, oh, that's right funny, in the though. corner." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he even listened to the show. I. I think he attentively listened. You think so? Because he's our friend. <laughs> yeah, well, he's our best friend. I, I realize, realize after now that, that he's like a, a a great friend and an uncle to me. And I care more about what he thinks than my own father. Do you actually? No, Dad. <laughs> uh-uh. 
Mm-mm, mm-mm. I love you, Dad. I do too. I love your dad. My dad's name's Mickey. It is. It's a sick name. Mm-hmm. It's not his real name, though. Sick ass, nasty. His real name's Michael. Yeah, that big was a, shocker to many. That was a big shocker. Yeah. <sighs> um, what are you most excited for about the Philly show? Oh, uh, just getting absolutely uh, hilarious with the jokes. Yeah, I love getting hilarious with the jokes. One thing I've realized as of recent is that um, after doing stand up and then doing this, mm-hmm. boy, it's this easy. Yeah, stand up is like you got to deliver jokes you can't story tell really. And it's like if you if you miss your mark, you only have a certain amount of minutes on stage where you can redeem yourself. Here, we've got like an hour and a half to redeem ourselves if we fucked up. Yeah. You know, and we play off each other so well. And you can go into so many different like um segues like you can't like you can be serious if you want. It doesn't you don't have to be like what's next, what's next, what's next. Yeah. It's not only 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's where I think we got to be the first stand up duo. We've talked, We've talked about, that about before. this before. Is there one? If there is, fuck them. That's how we get on Matt Day. That's how we follow in their footsteps. Dude, they've never done nothing like that before. I know, but that's something incredible. Something that. Other than steps everyone has a fucking podcast. Here, you know what Everyone's I mean? Everyone's on podcast tours right now. I know. Dude, I know. It's crazy. I'm like, everyone in their mama really does have a podcast. They really done do. And they're, they're selling out these guys. Everyone. It's crazy how. Including <laughs> us. Dude, it's crazy how fucking like famous people are. It's wild. Like, it, there's it, so many different sectors to this shit. And like, you could be so big. Like these people are selling out arenas and shit, but then they can walk to the street and no one knows who they are. I know. It's crazy. Like the internet is such a crazy, fascinating place. It is fascinating. Like they have millions of fall. I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy. Well, I, so I, I've, I didn't fly. I train rode first class here. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Me either. I never knew there was first class they on a train. They booked me first class on a train. Was it epic? So when I got to the train station, I got to go to a special place. And they had free food. In Penn Station? Yes. And it was really cool. So I'm talking to the bartender. And he's like, wait, wait, wait you going? sorry. Was this on the train? No, no, no. Before? At Penn Station. Like a fucking get your money's worth club? Yeah. Wow. And boy, did I. What well, did you? They gave you food? Oh, my God. They gave me food. They gave me drinks. They gave me fruit. They gave me vegetables. They gave me chips. They gave you alcohol? I had to pay for that. <sighs> but I didn't mind. Okay. Wait. Okay. This is in the train station. How, how much more do you think it is? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. I never knew you could fly first class on a train. This is literally an hour train ride. Wow. It was blowing my fucking mind. I wish you were there. So we, no, me, <laughs> I'm, we, me and the bartender were talking. Yeah. And he's like, where are you going? I go, Philadelphia. He goes, what are you doing? And I was like, and usually I lie. Yeah. Because it's too much to explain. I ne- I'm like, I'm here for business. It's far much too much to explain. But this time I was like, you know what? Let's give it a whirl. He's an elderly man. I knew he wasn't going to get it, but I just had a, it was good practice. Did you try to, did you try to say podcasting? It, so he said, what are you doing? And I go, I'm going to Philadelphia. He said, oh, what are you doing there? And I said, uh, you know, podcasts. He said, <laughs> you yeah. You know those things? And I said, well, I'm doing one of those, one of those live shows. I don't know if you know, but like podcasts do live shows. I'm doing it with my best friend. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's confusing. You get a mimosa, please. <laughs> and I he just did. gave up. Yeah, he man, did. yeah you he really, didn't know what the you really didn't really try about. on that one, huh? No, but I ate meat on the train. What kind? Oh, it was Budokan special beef. So you can get a meal? Yeah. Was, what? It was blowing my mind. This Brianna. is shocking. Dude, there's some shit I've never seen before, kid. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, just being as Were white trash as I am. Seats bigger was no. a No, but the lady next to me, her destination was Washington. Imagine and how she, expensive that ticket was. Dude, you want to know what she was doing? What? Preparing for a big Washington speech, I feel like. You could tell. <laughs> I could just tell. Did she have a bow tie on? No, she just had it. She had it going on. Wow. Yeah. You talk Meanwhile, to I'm, I'm, I'm TikToking my train ride experience. <laughs> <laughs> was it, did she say anything? No, just, uh, I, I leaned over to where I go, the beef was a bold move, huh? Right? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, Oh, they have good food. And I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, sure. Was it good? It was delicious. Oh, wow. It was. It wow. was. So that's sick. You took first class here? Yeah. Weird you, break you take for him, an hour. You taking first class back? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I hope to God. 
Uh, no, you gotta walk back. You gotta drive yeah, back. Once you go first, you never go broke. Dude, it's crazy that it's uh, it's crazy that uh, how close Philly is to New York on a train. It really is. Uh-huh. I really knew nothing. I know nothing about maps and shit or where anything is at time. I have no idea. I have a pretty good sense of no. The two of us have a pretty good sense of di- a direction. Yeah, I have, a, I have a good sense of direction. I I can I have a good GPS. I could get anywhere I gotta go. Yeah, in my head, I know if I've been there once, I could get it there again. But realistically, if you tell me where a state is, like we were talking about this the other day, me and you, Nebraska, where is that on a map? Mm. All we I know is Nebraska, there. Nebraska, I love you. Exactly. Lady Gaga. Mm. But I can't even, I can't even imagine. I mean, finding out Oklahoma's right above Texas. Bullshit. When we found out it snowed bullshit. there. Bullshit. When it, mm. I'm at the concert, right? so stupid. He's, he, and I, and I told the guy, your boyfriend, mm. I told him, I, I said, when you said that it snows in Oklahoma, I looked at Priyan and I said, this guy's a fucking fibber. And I said, yeah, I thought. Because this way, I just found out that it's above Texas. There's no shot that it snows there. Turns out, lots of snow. Don't know anything, I guess. I know. I felt stupid. I've, I've been feeling it. Dude, even this weekend, I was like, wow, you guys are smart. <laughs> really? Dude. I, I think you're quite smart yourself. Thank you. I think you are as well. But you Come get a, on now. I mean it. Now but, you dig um, in a grave. <laughs> dude, dude, man, no, I'm not. We know nothing. And I'm going to say we because we don't because I yeah, know the conversations we have. We know nothing, Grace. What? Are well, they talking about politics? Dude, like not even po- just like smart. Like they know things. They know. Yeah, but they're older. I kept wanting to just think like that, too. They're older. Dude, they seem to have known things at this age, too. All right, guys. Quick commercial break for way. If you're having a bad hair day, all right, sometimes it's frizzy. All right. Sometimes our hair is a little greasy. Sometimes it's just not really sticking the way we want it to stick. There's something for everyone with way yeah that's right with everything with way have you used it before i put it in my hair and i feel like a glorious woman do you feel like a mermaid i feel like a model a uh, supermodel mermaid model I if feel, you could that's put those two together like. that's exactly what i feel like I know because mermaid hair is luscious and beautiful when i use way i feel like a mermaid and when i'm a model i'm feeling my very best i know supermodel status and you can do that with way they have something for everyone's needs uh they have stuff that fix frizzy hair which i have frizzy hair all the time they have stuff for uh split ends a high gloss super smooth finish it keeps colors from fading i've actually i dye my hair all the time and i went from what? bleach blonde i know shocking that's I, crazy i went from bleach blonde to dark you know it's hard <laughs> Dude, did you remember that? No. No, not at all. But dude, I do that and it's really hard to keep your color, but with Way, it keeps it locked into your hair. So no matter what kind of hair you have, Way's hair will uh rejuvenate your hair so it's healthier, more vibrant, smells incredible, does smell incredible. Does. Yeah. So if you have fine, medium, thick hair, multiple hair concerns, you can find whatever you need with Way. So you're not sure what your type is. They also have a quiz that you can take to figure yeah. out what you want with Way. That's so you huge. can get your fast fix for healthy looking hair. You can go to uh the way.com. That's T H E O U A I dot com and use code slash brie for fifteen dollars off any purchase that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i dot com code brie make sure to check it out get some healthy looking hair can i say something brie sure they've got these pouches that seem to never run out yes you got the regular size and then you got the pouch size Mm -hmm. and i always forget to buy it's the refills i know i always forget to buy the ones that are bigger well no i always forget to replace yeah my hair care but with that it seems to be amazing, Last forever. incredible. And then you can be a supermodel sexy mermaid. So I love you. Okay. Bye. How do they seem to know things 20 years ago? Dude, because they're telling stories about years ago and what they did and what they knew and the people they were with. I'm like, how do you they're hanging out with all these geniuses from like NASA and shit? And I'm like, oh man, you guys are making me feel so dumb. Boo! No thanks. Bad time for me personally. I'm sorry. That sounds sick and everything but i don't want to hang out with some fucking scientist and make me feel stupid all the time no but they're smart so no, they no, don't not feel them, stupid not them but when i in my 20s well, to be hanging 40. around with scientists and nasa and bullshit oh see how it eat it up to know about that shit Mm-mm. dude it was crazy it was shocking it's just like we're in such a bubble there's so much cool shit out there and smart people to talk to it makes you want to be smarter Makes you want to read a book. People who are smart to me are comedians because they are smart because they are quick and on their feet. And that's just how I feel. That's the only people you think are smart? No, no, no. It's not the people, the only people I think are smart. <laughs> the, those are the smart people that I want to surround myself with. Yeah, of course. That's just me. Yeah. Um. No, I want to be around more smart people because I felt fucking stupid. I was like, Jesus, man, I'm in this barstool world that all we talk about is crazy shit. I'm like, wow, I could go back to school. And there's this crazy school in Vermont where you go to you go to fucking school for eight 
days a semester. You only have to go for eight days a fucking semester and you have to like come up with an idea and just you leave and present. It could be any idea. It could be a comedy idea. It could be a fucking film that you do or like an art thing. You go to this school, you get, you like go on dates. What's this school? It's called Goddard. Mm -hmm. And you go to this school, you only have to go to to college. Yeah. And you like leave and you have a degree and it's like the coolest way of schooling ever. I'm like, what the fuck? Why did we go to college? We didn't even learn anything. I know. No, I did. I definitely did. Yeah, but not really. What do you remember? I like remember meeting use. new people and, and finding a, and I, I think going to college is a great way of like, of course the experience of it and living in a dorm and like shit like that. But yeah. we don't use anything that we went to college for. I do. What do you do? I just uh, like, like PR things. Like when sometimes we make a joke and I'm like, oh, I don't think that would play well. Yeah. But that's common sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I, it's just, <laughs> it's just like fucking, I don't know. It was crazy to talk to those people and be like, yeah, I guess we wasted a lot of money on school. We didn't even graduate. No, we didn't. My school had $50,000 a year or something like that. Screw that, bitch. That's yeah. crazy. Bitch, that's crazy. Bitch, that's nuts. Yeah, bitch is paying for that. Shit. Yeah. There's only 12 people going there, too. What? Private schools are crazy. Yeah. I'm not fucking with it. I'm sending my kids to the woods and saying, be funny or learn how to survive on your own. You ever talk about your dad going to the woods? My dad did go to the woods. Can you talk about that? Yeah, dude. Okay, my dad was kind of a bad student. Not a bad student. He was a gangster. He was unfortunately uh, around his peers who were also bad. So it made him <laughs> a bad. He, was, uh, he wasn't going to graduate. He was a tough kid. He was a tough guy. He grew up in the project. He was beating people up all the time. He was protecting his family. He was doing, he was like uh, doing stuff. He was, selfie, he was a yeah. selfie projects kid. You know, he made it out. Thank God. But uh, fucking he wasn't going to graduate high school. And there was this island. This is crazy that this even exists. This is a public I school. I can't believe we never talked about this. This is a public school that my dad went to. And there was this island that they would send people to not even in school, but they were like, if you want to graduate, you got to prove it to us that you can. So we're going to send you to this island. You have to survive on the island. By yourself, no food, no water. We gave you a fishing line and a jug. When and you first told me this, I was like, bullshit. And I thought it was bullshit. Until the letters. Until the fucking letters. I thought it was bullshit too. I was like, dude. And then I realized all the stories my dad told me were true and people started crediting them. And like, I was like, what? I always thought he was bullshitting. You always yeah. think your dad is bullshitting you. Yeah. Like with, especially my dad's stories were insane. Like one day he woke up with the fucking, the day he quit drinking is because he woke up with a bloody screwdriver in his pocket. And he's like, <laughs> Well, I got to quit drinking because I don't know why the screwdriver's buddy. That's <laughs> not good. And that's not a good thing. So he literally I feel qu- like it would have quit to drinking. get worse for me. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I think if I woke up with a funny screwdriver, I'd just be like, ah. Oh. I stab myself and somewhere. chalk that up as a loss. <laughs> Let's go to Fred again. <laughs> get let's in get, again, let's again. get wasted. Uh, yeah, but dude, I, I don't know. I always thought that the fucking stories were fake. And then I'm like, all right, you're telling the truth. With me. I'm a little scared. Yeah. But there's this fucking island anyway that they sent him to. They were like, you can graduate if you can survive on this island. He had to survive on a, an island with no food, no water. And he would write letters back to my Nana. And I never believed him. And we were all, before she died. As Nana Pag, she had a hand like this. Yeah, she wasn't we, very nice to be. We called her Claw Hand. Come on, Anna. Um, behind her back, of course. But uh, but she'd smack you. Yeah. Dude, I said, I, we weren't close, all right? She didn't have the right to hit me, okay? She didn't have the right to fucking speak to me, man. She didn't. We, we never, we weren't, we weren't on speaking terms ever in my life. We were, I was just there. And one day, I said, she was like, come, hey, come fucking help me with something. She was like, over my house. She's like, come fucking help me. Get out this out of the car. And I'm so like, so mean. I was like, no, bitch. Like, I didn't say bitch, but I was like, you can't say bitch to your nana. Dude, I'm like 10. I'm like, you know what? No. I, we're not friends. No, I'm not fucking helping you. You're fucking mean. You're mean. You're just. And, and Brianna has a right. This lady's mean. Dude, mean, but to like. To the core. Only, only to me. Like, she like singled me out because I was my dad's second marriage. And it was like a whole thing. So. You were a bastard. Yeah, I was a bastard. But like, I wasn't even. But you weren't. In her eyes, you were. In, my, uh, in her eyes, I was the devil. And. One day, she was like, hey, fucking come out me. And there was like 30 other able-bodied adults. She probably had a cinder box in her back. I was like, this bitch is going to carry him on her back to the backyard. And I'm like, you know what, Nana? No. I just, but I looked at her and I was like, no. And I like turned around. She goes, 
Brianna rolls the bag and you get the fuck over here. And she cu- brings me, drags me by my, by my fucking hair, opens the car door, pretends like she's going to slam it on my head and goes, if you ever talk to your grandmother like that again, your, cu- your head is going to be on the other side of this door and it's not going to be attached to your body. Okay, Nana. Okay, okay Nana. Nana. Peg, Anything you're, you need. You're fucking saint. Anything you need. I go in, I go in and I tell everyone that that just happened. Liar. You're liar. a liar. Liar, because she was the nicest to everyone else. Yeah, Elijah's making shit up, you little bastard bitch. I'm like, okay, whatever. This is crazy. But then fucking my dad gets sent to this island. I don't believe any of this shit. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. my Nana's a fucking liar. My dad's a fucking lying. You're all fucking crazy. <laughs> and then one day Nana whips out these letters and she's like, oh, these are from uh, when I was on the island. Can't believe he made it out of that. I'm like, what are you talking about? Let me read these letters. These letters are like my dad begging for his life. Please, can I just graduate high school? I'm so sorry. Why am I on this fucking island? This makes no sense. Who has the authority to put me? What principal has the authority of a public school to put me on an island? But seriously and truly, what? And and he survived the island. Didn't do anything in school, but because he survived the island, he graduated high school. Good for him. It was crazy. If anyone from the Boston area knows what fucking island I'm talking about, I'll have to call my dad and fact check it. But it, it, I want to know seriously it's the craziest thing i've ever heard in my life and it always sounded fake until i heard about the, the letters. letters dude we were all shocked me and my cousins were like wow you're not lying and he's like dude how, why would i make all of this stuff up <laughs> i know but it just sounds like one of those things like, like a dad wants to be badass yeah like yeah. or also like don't fuck up or i'll send you on the island yeah. he never threatened that but like no. it just sounds like that thing that could be there yeah yeah i um i met your grandmother one time outside of i was gonna your say family did situation you talk to her yeah, uh, one once at your house for a party, or your or your aunt's house, and then another time at my work. Ice cream. When I was scooping ice cream, and it was your mm-hmm. uncle brought your grandmother to the window, and I said, I said, oh, uh, Nana Peg, so nice to meet you. I'm Grace. I'm Brianna's best friend. And she said, Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I'm like Brianna, your granddaughter. <laughs> You remember that the bastard child? And I didn't have it wrong. No. I knew exactly who it was. Of yeah, course. you've seen her before. And she was like, "Oh wow, well, ah, ah my grace." Give and me I my... don't know what she said. Something negative. I'm, and I and I'm glad I don't remember. <laughs> Give me but my ice cream, you bitch. <laughs> it was just I, I wanted to spit in your granny's cream because yeah. she was so rude. <laughs> yeah, she about did. my best friend. She was uh, <laughs> she was not a nice lady. It was yeah, just uh, she had a mean bone in her body directed and, at Pat. Dude, <laughs> and then it started getting directed towards me and the, my cousins. So mm-hmm. she was um she was gonna die. So yeah. we tried to like we wanted to be there for her when she was dying. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, uh, she's oh, yeah. she's an old lady. So we go to the nursing home that she was <laughs> in um near me, like right before she died. We go there. We're like, yeah. We started going every day. My dad would go every day, so I started going once a week with my cousins because our parents were like, you have to, man. It's your grandmother. Fucking be a be a person. We're Those like, are okay. tough visits when you you're not close with the person, but you know it matters. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that makes me a bad because person everyone, for saying no, it. No, because everyone on their deathbed is like, I want to make amends. Yeah. And like they well, they want to do their like they want to make their wrongs right and shit. So she like wanted us to be there, and then like she started caring and asking questions because she's dying, which is like fair. You, you all fuck up and when you're about to die, you probably realize that. Yeah. So we go and we're like, try to make it a thing. She was like, nice for a couple weeks, a couple months. And then one visit, she was just done, man. So we she go in done. and we're sitting there. We're trying to talk to her, man. We're trying <laughs> to have a conversation with her. We're like bringing up all this shit about our, our her child. We're asking her questions. We're trying to make her feel loved. And we're like, we love you and uh, whatever. We're like, okay, this is getting really awkward. She wouldn't answer us. We're like, do you want to go make a puzzle? Do you want to go do a puzzle, Nana, like in the fucking activity room? She's like, no. We're like, we're going to go make a puzzle. <laughs> so Auntie Val puts her in a wheelchair. We wheel her out. We start making this puzzle. And me and my cousin Molly couldn't really... My cousin Molly, I just want to preface this, is she's a special education teacher. She is the most patient, sweetest, person, sweetest heart of gold. I've never met someone with a heart of gold like her. <sighs> she's got it going she on. She cares too much about people. It's it's um, it's incredible. And it hurts her how, how much, much she cares. cares. Yeah. Um, about everyone and anything. And she's the most like nervous, not nervous, like uh, uh, worried about other people's feelings. Yes. So we're, we're doing this puzzle and I think about maybe two minutes goes by. It's like 1600 piece puzzle. It's like a big puzzle, like something that's going to take, take especially Nana, like probably She's probably going to die before you end it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we're doing this puzzle. We couldn't really figure it out. Molly was like having a tough time finding a couple pieces. Cause it's a sixteen, a sixteen hundred piece puzzle. Nana looks at her, goes, 
you're a fucking asshole. You look like an asshole right now. You can't figure out this fucking puzzle. I can't, I don't even want to be here with you. She looks at us, rolls away backwards in a wheelchair, doesn't break <laughs> eye contact with Molly as she's trying to do this. Molly's like, her jaw drops to the floor. She turns her wheel. It was like a fucking movie. She's wheeled backwards, eye contact the whole time, and then switches it, just faces a blank wall. We're like, Nana, Nana, hey, Nana. Um, This goes on for 30 minutes. She's just staring at the wall. And we're like, all right, Nana, we'll try to do the puzzle. We're trying to do it. We had to wheel her back into her room. She was like, wouldn't look at us, wouldn't talk to us. She's like, put me to bed and leave. I don't want to be you guy. You're an asshole. I kept calling Molly an asshole. It was crazy, man. I only laughed because this really hurt Molly. It hurt her to the core. It really bothered her a lot. <laughs> it hurt her it was to like the core. one of her last moments with her evil grandma. It hurt her a lot. Dude, and we went back a couple times after. It just this. It wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same. <laughs> wasn't the same. Molly can't look you at a puzzle. Fucking asshole! It's a Molly. You look like a fucking asshole trying to do this fucking puzzle, dude. And then every time me and Megan would talk, she'd just be like, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> We're like, "Dude," and she didn't have dementia or anything. Like she was just like she was just sick. Yeah. Like uh, like she was not. There was nothing mental going on. <laughs> and every time me and Megan would talk, she was like, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> every time we opened her mouth, ah. Oh. I'm like, "Dude, this is." crazy but yeah oh, she dude. passed away and it was super sad and um rest in peace nana and then she haunted me in my new york city apartment oh yeah that was real yeah. i'll never i don't you don't have to believe it you don't have to believe it it was real it was yeah, crazy I everything you say out of your mouth. It, was, it was scary yeah yeah i'm glad you never had to have an experience like that with you nana you have a good one i got a good one Banna. you know Banna's, yeah. Banna's good she's good she's she's good you know we, yeah we should leave it on good terms you want to tell a good story about you nana um so my nana, mm -hmm. uh, she had a rough scare where she got her uh, she got her hips replaced oh. at this one point, and um, uh, my family's not gonna love that I'm saying this part, but there was this there was this um, this this rumor that she may have drank before the surgery because she you know she loves a Jameson and uh, on the rocks. And I just found out recently. Wait, did I tell you this? Yeah, Pause. you did. It was shocking. Not on the rock. She no. She fucking listens to the podcast. Oh, that's gonna kill her. That's insane. That's crazy. No, dude. She listens to the podcast. My 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 aunt and my grandma live right next door to each other. And my aunt texted me one day, and she's like, "I thought you were. I thought you came home and you were visiting Banna, but no, she had you blasting on the TV." <laughs> She found out how to work YouTube on the TV. That's adorable, but she should not she listen should to this. I, I've asked her a thousand times. She doesn't get it. She thinks we're crude and we're rude. But I one funny thing that she said was, you guys, <laughs> she goes, you guys will swear like sailors for an hour straight and then start saying goosh and garsh and darn. And friggin'. <laughs> and friggin'. <Yeah. laughs> and she's like, I don't understand it. Pick one. Dude, I realize I swear so fucking much well i realized every other word out of my mouth is fuck dude when did you realize dude i, I was watching a video back and i'm not <laughs> it's not even like a i was doing like a clothing haul and every other word it's on my spam it's fucking bitch fuck pussy fuck this shit fuck falcon cunt like i'm like oh my god <laughs> that's crazy and then i realized around other people i'm just swearing and i can't change it i'm not gonna try personally i'm never gonna change but i'm like oh i can see how people look at us in like trash bags yeah so what the, or not us we me i swear no, 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 no. Put I swear me in really there too bad. because when I first realized I swear like a fuck it like <laughs> like a fucking sailor yeah. is when I met Zach's dad and he said, Oh, the, the mouth on this girl. My realization I, like, oh. I think was going to Oklahoma. Yeah. And realizing fuck shit. Like, fuck ah. Dude, it's a like really tough realization. He was like, Look at the mouth on this girl. I was like, I don't, always, I don't always want to be swearing. It just does, it just it comes so natural because my fucking parents fucking <laughs> swore so much <laughs> growing up. Fuck shit, bitch. Ah. Dude, every <laughs> other word out of my dad's mouth is a swear. Yeah. And I'm like, ah. Oh, do, do you remember swearing for the first time? Getting a hold of it and really like really getting control over it and being like, I can swear. Not personally, no. Oh, I, remember I remember a lot of firsts, not that. I remember, dude. I remember it was um it was weird. Okay, so I would I would spend my. Oh, you did say one thing to someone that didn't ever make any sense when you were when you were very young. Was what? Um, did you <laughs> we can cut this? But you said I already know what it is. You should sue. You should sue McDonald's because they screwed you. That makes plenty sense, dude. This girl was so fucking mean. This girl was so bad, and we would fight all the time. She goes, "What did she say? You look like a monkey." And I go, 
you should sue McDonald's because they fucking screwed you. I was like fucking 10. That was the biggest Dude, swear I've ever drop. heard of anyone say in fifth grade. That I was, was like, a mic drop. Are you kidding me? Dude, I was like, got your ass. You crazy. She this, was, this new girl that just popped into town from Boston. Dude, because this remember I told you in Southie I was fighting for my life with that girl in my fucking grade? Dude, she would say the most heinous shit to me. I think I stole that from her. I'll give her credit. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that was but, good. Um, <laughs> Dude, uh, the most heinous shit. And then this was, that's funny. It kind of goes into what I was about to say. So I used to come to our neighborhood or our town growing up every summer because that's where my cousins lived. That's mm -hmm. why I moved there. And um, I remember I came back one summer and we're all playing. And, and Molly, she looks at me and goes, what happened to you? Uh, you came back and you are out of control. You are swearing too much, Brianna. <laughs> this is too much. You're younger than me and you're making... Megan swear and this is too much what happened to you <laughs> I don't know what happened it's cause at my campground I started hanging out with the old kids oh, yeah. I started hanging out with the old kids a lot of first there a lot of bad bad a things there great things shit. I love the man made me who I am a lot I of am. good a lot of bad a lot of, a lot of bad a lot of bad but I, I remember I was hanging out with these I want I now I look back and I'm like I understand why my dad wouldn't let me hang out with them hmm. they, were like, they were like crackheads <laughs> yeah they were like, yeah, you know, you know. they couldn't help where they came from. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's a terrible cycle. Um, mm -hmm. But you should listen to your parents when they say, don't hang out with these kids. And I'm no, like, no, they're never so want to. cool. They're you drinking never... when they're 11. They're and, the coolest. And, yeah. And they're swearing and they're talking about shit. They weren't drinking, but they were talking about alcohol like they knew what it was. And mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. What the fuck is this? They're talking about like running away, <laughs> getting pregnant. I'm like, you're 13. This <laughs> is sick. That's uh, kind of cool. That like sounds dude, like a movie. I think I was ran away with watch. these guys. <laughs> I think I was ran away with these guys in Florida. I'm like literally nine at the time. So then I exactly come down and visit me in Florida. Yeah, they're either they got pregnant or young and went, they're in jail. Yeah. But um, it happens. I was hanging out with those kids and I come back boy. one summer. I started swearing. I started hitting people with those one liners. I'm like, don't fuck with me, kid. <laughs> you know, you're gonna say something to me. I had to stand my ground. I was the new Even kid. Around, so fuck with me. I was this new kid and this bitch was trying to be mean to me. I'm like, dude, I gotta, I gotta hit you, man. I gotta hit you. And she deserved it, you dude. Know? She was a bitch. Her mother, bitch, <laughs> bitch, man. I got something to say. What? No, we could, I'll tell you later. All right. Something happened with that. They getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know Isn't what? Isn't that crazy, though? Love's a choice. Isn't Man, you picked it. That's crazy. Is it, though? They hated each other. <laughs> Dude. Wow. Wow. That's a win in the battles, <laughs> books. That's, a, that's, no, that's no backlash to us. We don't talk to them. <laughs> They don't know. They, no one's ever going to know what we're talking about. Except for them. Uh, yeah, except for them. Yeah. Anyways, that's a good note to end it on. Uh, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry about the divorce. Not. Yeah. You know, yeah. some people should. Oh, I don't want to harp on it. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> Truly, we're in Philly. We're about to have a blast. We got to go watch a big game, drink some beers, and celebrate. Let's party. Yeah, we're going to go see Jake Martin downstairs. Um, And yeah, shake it off. Jake Martin is so somebody who would have bullied me in high school, by the way, also with I, all the pictures he's posting. I know. Bullied me in high school, but you're a theater nerd, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, you guys will never know if we like him or hate him. So I mean, I guess you'll never know because you, unless you're at the live show. Already mic dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Should have sued McDonald's because they screwed you. We're out of here.